I am Phoebe Pinnock from Heaven the Axe and you're listening to Mosh Pit on Sin. Phoebe Pinnock is a front woman for Australia's badass hard rock and metal band Heaven the Axe. The band has an album out called Sex, Chugs and Rock and Roll, plus a few singles and are currently creating album number two. Heaven the Axe will be performing at the Evelyn Hotel in Melbourne on Saturday the 12th of December. Welcome to Mosh Pit, Phoebe. Well, thanks for having me. Awesome. So, let's start with the easy question. Who are Heaven the Axe? Oh my God. <laughs> Who are we publicly or like secretly? Well, yeah, a bit of both. Give us some exclusive goss, the well, secret. Um, <laughs> Who are Heaven the Axe by day? Who are Heaven the Axe by night? Well, Heaven the Axe is myself and my husband, Steve Watts, who was the guitarist and frontman for a band called Manticore back in the 90s. For any listeners that have their um, their history of Australian metal <laughs> up their sleeves. Um, and then we've also got Azza Bok and Timothy Mieriki. Both of them are members of Frankenbock. And then we have Tommy Russell on drums, as well as sometimes we work with Skits, who was from Damaged and a bunch of other bands other than that. So we're a bit of a collective, but essentially it, it begins with Steve and I, and this year we've managed to um, work with our best friends who are Azar and Tim and, and Tommy as well. But they're all wild men. Uh, they have the guys who are currently Frankenbock, they're, they're part of the new lineup, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're the original lineup. So those oh. guys have been in, in they, they are Frankenbock, these two, Azar and Timmy. So they've done it for 20 years, I guess. Like they, they made it when they were teenagers and were signed to Roadrunner Records when that was even a thing in Australia. And now um, we just started, well actually when Steve and I first moved to Melbourne because we came from Wagga Wagga, we um, rang up Tim and said, hey Tim, we really like your bass playing, you know, we just moved down from the country, would you like to join a band? And he's like, oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm a bit busy, I'll talk to you later. And <laughs> <laughs> but now, now he's um, playing bass, so we got what we wanted, eventually. <laughs> awesome, so now the other um, simple question is who is Phoebe Pinnock? Who is Phoebe Pinnock? Well, I I just when I was six years old, I just knew I wanted to sing. That was it. I saw um some kids performing Catch a Falling Star and put it in your pocket and it just blew me away. And and it's funny that that was that song because it's all about stars and I'm a complete astrologer. Like I live my life entirely just. Um, I get caught up with the ethereal realm a lot. So, for you, you read Pinnock, the horoscopes every day. Well, not really horoscopes. I read the natal chart and the planets and the aspects and all that stuff. So that's a bit more advanced. But, um, but I spend a lot of time just trying to ground myself because I can be really ethereal. But, um, but I've been playing guitar since I was thirteen. I stole a, a guitar from my high school because I grew up in a family that couldn't afford musical instruments or anything like that. Got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I taught myself do to that, play. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote my first song about a hot guy that I saw driving a panel van. He had long hair and, you know, it was blasting napalm death tunes. And it's called, Hey, Mr. Bad News, I Want to See the Back of Your Panel Van. And then I hooked up with Steve, who I saw playing in his band Manticore when I was about 16. I couldn't get in the pub. I was too young, but I saw him from outside and I went, oh my God, he is the one. That was my first thought when I saw him. And and then we hooked up to play music a few years later and I showed him the song that I wrote, that first song, the panel van song. And it turns out it was him driving the car that day that inspired me to write my first song. And we've been together ever since then. So um, it's, it's definitely a joint effort. Like I can write songs on my acoustic guitar which are generally pop songs but Steve has only two genres in music and that's heavy and metal <laughs> <laughs> so I could write a most silly ballad and he just turns it into something brutal actually yeah I saw that story on your website I think the headline was this is the most bogan rock story or love, love story, story ever yeah I guess it is right <laughs> Well, we come from Wagga Wagga and it is a panel van and I was 13 at the time, which is quite awkward. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it all turned out good in the end. Uh, now, uh, we did we did um, uh, ask Moshpit fans to submit their questions. Um, we got a question from Tommy Gunn who says, who was your biggest musical influence growing up? I'd probably say Steve. <clears throat> Steve. And um, if I have to be really honest, which I will be, it's... Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston because I'm I just 
like I said, I, I never got any singing lessons or anything as a kid, but I was determined to sing. So I just would lock myself in my bedroom and sing and sing along with those singers for hours every day after school to my neighbours' um, dismay. <laughs> but <clears throat> but it gave me great training. I don't listen to that kind of stuff now. But sometimes before we do a gig, I'll put on Mariah Carey Music Box and sing sing it through because it's just amazing um, vocal gymnastics, basically. But in terms of influences at the moment, I'm listening to a lot of Slipknot, Anthrax, um, you know, Led Zeppelin, um, and just some really heavy, clever bands that write catchy melodies. Awesome, and uh, thanks, Tommy, for that question. And Tommy Gunn and Mario also agree that you're a metal goddess, which is what I said in the original <laughs> tweet. So thanks so much, guys. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> Phoebe Pinnock, um, Boken Hunter, singer and quote-unquote <laughs> pizza lover. No, I'm not a pizza lover. <laughs> quote-unquote. Oh. Um, <laughs> no way. Thanks so much again for being on the Much Beard on Sin, and uh, everyone support them because great band, great songs, great energy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>